Hey, hi Kalyani. Hi sir. How are you? I am good. Thanks for asking. Okay. What about you? Yes, I am also doing good. Thank you for asking again. So, uh, Kalyani, I have received your resume. So, uh, I would like to ask you for a small introduction. Can you please introduce yourself? Yeah, sure. So, first of all, thank you for giving me this opportunity to introduce myself. Um, my name is Kalyani Sonyane. I am currently living in Pune and my hometown is Gordia. I have done my master's in computer science in 2020 from the Nagpur University with 7.4 CGPA and have done my graduation from the same university in 2018 have done the six months of internship in the field of data science from the Solubix Technology Bangalore mm -hmm. uh, and having strong background in Python, machine learning, deep learning and natural language processing and ability to handle the structured and unstructured data with the database structure, uh, SQL and NoSQL. All right, all right. Fair. Thank you. Yeah. So uh, as I can see your CV, okay. So uh, you have done masters in computer science, correct? So why yeah. not into the development side? Why not coding and all? Why into data science? Uh, sir, I have strong inclination towards this profile. Like I believe that uh, I can, I have through my skills. Uh, if if uh, like uh, if I have strong inclination towards this profile, I have believe that I can uh, prove my skills uh, if I like uh, join this kind of master degree, and uh, it it would give me the satisfaction and that it's mean for it. Okay. okay all right. Yeah. So, um, so uh, while you were you know uh, the uh, you were uh, you were hired as an intern. Okay, so you have you told that you have six months of internship experience, correct? Yes. yes. So, uh, what were the challenges you faced as a data analyst intern? Uh, sir, the uh, like challenges are uh, the you know, timeline deadline uh, challenges I have faced. So, uh, so we can uh, create the to do list to. Uh, for uh, complete the uh, tasking before deadline. So we can create the to-do list and we can write the whole work uh, in that to-do list and according to that to-do list we are uh, work on it and uh, uh, we are complete our task before the deadline. Okay. So you are telling that uh, you have to complete the task before the given deadline? So, yes. so that is only the challenge you faced, correct? Uh, yes. Um, so, um, let's say uh, you uh, have uh, done a complex technical concept and now you are approaching to a individual who has, uh, who is from a non-technical background. So how are you going to explain that to him or her? Uh, firstly, I have listened their concept and things, and after that, we are understanding uh, their concept, and uh, after that, uh, we are finding the same ground. And in this way, I will I will uh, share my insight to her or him. Okay, but how? Uh, but what if he or she doesn't understand that? So how, I mean, how to, uh, you know, break down the complex, you know, the problem to a simpler, more simpler way. How will you do that? Um, I will, uh, like, uh, I will break down, I will divide the complex task into the smaller uh, task. And uh, uh, after that, I will... Uh, share that smaller task to him or her and I will effectively communicate with him or her and uh, like uh, in this way I will I will uh, like uh, complete the I will share the insights and uh, like uh, uh, and, and all fine 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 okay so um, as you said that you are good at ML and all correct yes and uh, uh, you know about something about NLP and all? Yes, yes, I know that. 
So, uh, can you tell me some assumption of uh, linear and logistics regressions? Yeah, sure. Uh, there are five types of uh, assumptions in linear and logistic algorithm. Uh, they are linearity, no multicollinearity, normality, interdependency, and homoscedasticity. Okay, can you tell a bit more on that? Can you explain a bit? Yes, uh, in linear in linearity, uh, we are finding the value of uh, R, uh, and we also find the correlation between uh, coefficient of correlation in the input and output variable. In uh, interdependency, uh, the input very should not be dependent to each other and in uh, homoscedasticity uh, the residuals are uh, in constant rate and in normal in normality uh, it is nothing but the normal distribution of error or the data points we always try to keep our data points near to the mean yes that's it all right all right super so are you sure on that again yes i'm damn sure okay fine so, uh, Aliani, just tell me what do you understand by the term precision and recall? Uh, precision is used to, uh, like, uh, is used to measure the model accuracy. Mm -hmm. If uh, F1, uh, if uh, precision and recall are both equally important, in that case, we are using the uh, F1 uh, method, F1 score method. And uh, recall is nothing but the out of uh, actual uh, actual value, how many values are uh, predicted positively. I can explain you with an example. Sure. Uh, suppose, uh, like, uh, uh, <clears throat> Uh, if the person is having cancer and model predicted that the person is not having cancer, in that case, we are focused on the false negative rate. And uh, uh, in this way, we are accurately find the uh, right prediction from the model. Super. Super. So, um, have you came across the word scaling? Yes, I know that. Explain a bit about scaling. Yeah, sure. Uh, scaling is uh, useful for the... Um, scaling is useful for uh, scale the numeric feature into the same scan. Uh, we are using two kind of uh, scaling in machine learning, uh, which is normalization and standardization. Normalization is nothing but the normal scale, that is mean life scalar. And we are follow the specific range here, that is zero to one. If our data is uh, not following the Gaussian distribution, then in that case, we are using the normalization. And in standard, standard uh, digestion is nothing but the standard scalar. Standard scalar, we don't have any specific range in standard digestion. Uh, uh, like our data is following the Gaussian distribution. In that case, we are we are uh, like using the standardization. Well, well. So uh, you said that you are very well good at uh, you know, and then uh, the ML part. Fine. So uh, can you give me uh, some difference between what do you understand? Between what is the difference between uh, ML and uh, DL, deep learning and machine learning? Oh uh, yes, I I can explain you. Uh, YAML is uh, like uh, the machine learning and the DL is nothing but the deep learning. Uh, if our data size is very big, so machine learning model is stagnant in that case. But in deep learning, our data size is too high, so our accuracy is good in that case. Uh, machine learning can use code for the only structured data, but in deep learning, uh, we are uh, like uh, if you are having the unstructured data, so deep learning is mm, very useful for us. Uh, in machine learning, 
uh, only useful for the tabular data but in deep learning we are solve the data in uh, image audio video graphy and unstructured data too so th this is the major difference of machine learning and deep learning that 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 so uh, what do you, what do you, what do you get uh, you, you what do you think that uh, what is distance matrix of KNN algorithm uh yes uh distance matrix we are uh, having two distance matrix in knn algorithm which is euclidean uh, distance matrix and manhattan distance in euclidean distance uh is uh like uh in manhattan distance is higher than the euclidean one because euclidean can measure the distance between no data points and Euclidean distance measure the distance in the adjacent side. Okay, so Kalyani, will you able to explain me something about uh, cross validation machine learning with an example? Yeah, sure. Please. Uh, cross validation. Uh, in cross validation, we are consider the data and we are uh, like divide the data in number of groups. Uh, for example, B C B equal to five, so we can consider the five groups. And each in, in that case, in each execution, first group will be considered as the testing group, and the remaining four group will be uh, considered as the training data set. Uh, in that uh, way, the cross validation will be done. Can you give me an example on that? Uh. Sorry, sir, I can't recall it. Okay, okay. Oh, sure. So, uh, uh, what is epoch? Epoch in machine learning. Uh, epoch is nothing but the you can, uh, you can enter or you can go the data in one go. Okay, okay. So. Yeah. Oh, then how will you uh, how can you access a good uh, logistics model any idea about that uh sir we can like uh uh check the all the assumptions on logistic regression and after that we can go the logistic model okay yeah. what does what does f1 score mean uh, how do you use it F1, uh, nothing but uh, like uh, uh, which is useful for the measure the model accuracy. And if the uh, precision and recall are equally important, then in that case, we can use the F1 score. Okay. All right. So, yeah. uh, Kalyani, I'm done from the technical, I mean, the ML part. Fine. So, uh, so Kalyani, tell me why do you think that you are the right fit for our team? Uh, sir, uh, I'm coming from the technical background. Uh, I have done my master's in computer science. And uh, the skills I require, uh, which is exactly match for the my skills. Uh, like, uh, uh, I have... I'm ready for my successful journey uh, join with you. That's why I'm very uh, good fit for this role and your company. Okay. So, uh, okay, uh, Kalyani, I'm done from my end. Okay. So, the HR will get back to you on this again with the feedback. Yeah. Okay. okay. So, yeah. Thank you. Thank you for joining today's podcast. Thank you. Have a nice yeah, day. Yeah, thank you. Have a good day. Yeah.